late call. Yeah. So tell us what you were doing yesterday. <laughs> Literally, what I was doing. Obviously, we're raining all day at work. <laughs> I'm working at Starbucks. It's finished work early. I got home literally right half two it were. The next thing I got, as soon as I got into the door, Josh rigged us for a fight. And he said, you want to fight tomorrow? So, yeah, I said, yeah, I'll take it. we get anything that I can that will come to us. That's fantastic, isn't it? What a story. And, and talk us through the fight. I mean, he made a mistake. You saw the chance. You weren't coming here as an opponent. You were coming here to win, and you took the chance. Oh, I was definitely coming here for the win. That was where I was shadowed out there. Now I just see his hands coming low, so I thought, stop it, I'll give you the shot, uh, so you can take it, that's it really. And obviously you just couldn't take it. Uh, tell us what it's like winning in an atmosphere like that, with every single person with respect cheering your opponent on. He's sold over 350 tickets. What does that feel like? <laughs> <laughs> to me it feels buzzing because I'm just better just sit and just go and wait quiet like. It makes me feel, men, feel proud like. It's fantastic stuff. So, uh, talk us through, Josh, how proud you are of your man here. Yeah. Talk us through that from your perspective as well. Yeah, really proud. I mean, my job as a manager is to offer him fight. He got off the fight yesterday, obviously. Your best preparation you can get, you know. You know, 24 hours is not really the best, but, you know, credit to Tommy. He didn't hesitate. He didn't ask who he was. You, you know, he just went, yeah, I'll fight. You know, that's what I'm about. So we took fight, come down, and he's delivered. So, you know, all words and upwards for him. Fantastic stuff. Thanks for your time and thanks for that. That was just an extraordinary thing and uh, we'll look out for you in the future. Yeah, Tom, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks.